Hey viewers, what's going on? Today we have uh, a battery eliminator autopsy. It's a Heathkit model IP-12. Um, essentially what this is, is it puts out unfiltered and filtered uh, DC. So if you want to test something, if you want to test run like a little DC motor or anything that can run off a low voltage DC and you don't have some batteries or something you can use this because it's it's variable and it can it's it can put out some current so uh, I've already taken the screws out of it so I'll open it up and show you guys what's on the inside Alright, so I'll just start with the basics. So this is your amp meter here. You got your uh, 6 volt slash 12 volt selection switch. You got your volt meter. Now these used to be the two diodes that ran this, but they've since burned out and I've rigged up a couple of these little fellas here to make it work again and they seem to do just fine um, you got your filtering capacitors I'm not sure why there's three of them but they filter your DC so if you have something that's got circuit boards actually like one of these these little fans got a bunch of little circuits in behind their motors and I found out the hard way when I was um, Rebuilding my fan powered trains. I first tried to run the fans off of the original train power supply, which is unfiltered DC, and it wrecked the fans. They didn't like it all and they would not run anymore. So after filtering it, they ran just fine. So yeah, that's what those do. They filter it out, smooth out the I think it's they smooth out the waveform. So there's no peaks in the voltage or spikes. Um I flip this over. So there's your three capacitors. I'm not sure what the rating is. I had them out once. Look at them. I think it's like 35 to 49 UF. So they're they're like they're like low UF um, star capacitors. You've got your, I'm not sure what you call this, it's not a transformer because basically what it does is there's a coil in it and it induces, when there's a, when there's a load on this, it induces a voltage in here and in turn your amp, your amp uh, meter there moves accordingly. I know that the needle's broken off it but you can see the tip of it there so that's what that one's for um, you got your fuse, you got your on off switch and then you've got your actual power supply and the way this the way you adjust the voltage in this is very unusual, I've never seen a configuration quite like this so there's your there's your voltage control right there and basically, what it's doing, well, I should backtrack a bit. So you got your primary, your power going in. So there's so there's small winding on the inside here, and then your secondary is this here and this. So there's two coils of secondary, and um, when you adjust your voltage control. This ain't gonna be easy to show you. When you adjust your voltage control, there's there's a bare spot on both secondary windings. So you see the contact actually rubs against the bare spot on the windings on that side. And on the other side at the same time. You can see your point there. 
it's a, it's a very unusual way of controlling the voltage. I mean, it works. This this thing's well over 30 years old. I mean, and it's still this method still works just fine. But it's it's you don't see things like that anymore. Now it's all circuitry and whatnot. So I will just uh, I'll just power this up. There's not much to see, but I'll uh, I'll just run something off it. Just hooking up my voltmeter and a little DC motor. Now this this meter here, this meter here, I just hit the wrong button on my camera and stuffed the video. <laughs> but this this meter here, it's off a little bit. My multimeter actually reads a slightly different voltage than this does. But anyway, so I've hooked up this little motor here. I can't remember what's out of uh a little vacuum of some sort. There you go. So there's 10 volts according to this. But you can see here, it's almost 12. So it's, it's off a little bit. And if you take a look at your amp meter dial there carefully. So it does work, it just the needles busted off it. So uh, yeah. So that's the, the Heath Kit Model IP12 battery eliminator. Good piece of old technology, reliable, lasts for years to come. And so, um, thanks for watching, everyone.